John O'Decker is a sucker for a good old chick flick from the days of yore. And he puts this week's movie night must-see right at the top. All right, I know, I know, the Cinderella story has been done to death on the big screen. Disney did it, one of the Duff sisters did it, then Disney did it again in some direct-to-video sequel that wasn't worth its mustard, couldn't hold its mustard, wasn't, I don't know what I'm saying, but you know what I'm saying, it was garbage. But one of the best Cinderella stories I've ever seen is Ever After. Drew Barrymore stars as the Cinderella character, and okay, her British accent could use a little bit of work, but this story is moving, it's funny, it's romantic. It's a really well done version of this tale. Louise, quick! Your Highness, what an unexpected surprise. All right, Contess. Do you not attend church? My faith is better served away from the rabid crowd. Oh. Yes, I'm afraid my father's edict has created quite a, um, a phenomenon. <laughs> Which is why I am bound for the monastery. The, the Franciscans have an astonishing library. Since you are so fond of reading, I thought perhaps you might join me. It's not fair, sire. You have found my weakness, but I have yet to learn yours. Well, I should think it was quite obvious. Uh, Captain Laurent, I shall not be needing my horse or your services. Today, I am simply... Henry. I'm a man. And I am secure with myself. And I am secure with telling you that yes, I love action movies, but I also love Ever After. Deal with it. Ooh, nice choice, Jono. One of my favorite Drew Barrymore films, one of my favorite films.